think about all this snow? I'm done. No, what do you think about all the snow? I don't want to cock. What's your favorite thing to do in the snow? I don't want to do it. Why? I don't want to. Hi guys, here I am inside of the old cow stable um, that I'm right now turning into a chicken stable, my brooder house basically. Right to the left where the camera is standing, I'm gonna have my area where I will put the chicks from the hatching machine. And then here I'm building three sections where um, I can have at least 50 chickens in each up till the age of uh, 16 weeks. They could even be a few more in there because they're so small. And then I can really separate them. I might eventually put another corner in here, but right now there's stuff standing there. And then the roosters will eventually end up going into the greenhouse um, because uh, I need much more space than that. But this is these are the first stages where I can separate them. Now, I'm gonna do the deep bedding. Before anybody says something, <laughs> Let me just say, this here is leftover deep bedding from the chickens before and I have not taken it out because I need it. I'm going to put this, uh, the first four to eight inches on the ground in each of these sections and then I'm going to put um, another four to eight inches of fresh wood shavings on top of that and this is what will give them a boost, give them health and boost their health plus it's also the sourdough principle that um, the bacteria here it'll just help the composting process of the new uh, wood shaving on top so we're gonna have three sections we're gonna have um, three doors here obviously I'm gonna do everything with boards because that's what we have here on the homestead I'm gonna put it um, here in the front and then the separation then I'm just going to put a plastic um, netting here that I still have that was last year in the greenhouse you can check out some videos where you will see that um, I will put that right here as the separation there are going to be four roosts in each section that these chickens um, can get used to because if I will raise some of the hens in here that will then go on to farmers um, they are required to have roosts. The, um, the young roosters that will be slaughtered and processed, they are not required to have any roosts. So, I will have my bell waterers here in the front with the buckets on the outside where they are easily accessible, where I can just um, fill in the water from the outside and then obviously each the feeders. Now, um, this width here, I can back in with the quad trailer and then just empty the manure into the quad trailer. And I'm just going to spread manure to spring to fall. I'm not going to do that in the winter. Now, one thing that you can see here is that I'm only working with boards. These are one by fours. And the reason for that is that um, these are just all chickens. You can save a lot of lumber and weight, especially in mobile structures. Um, you can save a lot of money though if you buy thinner lumber. You don't have to have two inch thick wood. And you know, this is the main mistake that people do with chickens, that they build it way too strong, way too thick. They spend more money on it and in mobile structures it'll weigh too much. Uh, the, door for, the doors actually, I'm just going to build those out of one by threes. So this whole structure is going to be very light. Now ideally, um, if you had more money and wanted to invest in that, you could use uh, plywood as the um, walls or if you would build a new stable, I would pour concrete walls on the outside and then have plywood as the separating walls because that's much easier to keep clean. Um, this obviously, if you have two on top of each other like this, in the gaps you could have um, some, you know, parasites or whatever that you don't want in the stable and it's a little bit harder to clean. But if you keep everything else um, the way it should be, you shouldn't have a problem with that either. Now, 
um, with this structure, it'll be important for me that I can um, let it be empty without any chickens for at least three, four weeks every year so that anything that would be in here would die off. So um, that is a given for my other operations where winter time and summer time they are in two different uh, stables, mobile and winter stable. But here um, they're going to be in here for quite a while. I'm going to disinfect all the walls and they're going to be wider. Probably be doing that. Um, but now I will start with just putting a simple and light wooden structure here where I can put the netting against. And um, it's not supposed to be fancy, it doesn't need to hold anything. A um, five pound chicken is not able to push away a one by four. Mm -hmm. 